welcome back to Food Diaries. Well, it's been a lovely day here at Jawai and we are very happy to be at Waisa Sumer's house. Well, thank you for having us yeah, for it's Food a Diaries. It's a pleasure having uh, you too. We've traveled all the way because uh, we do know that um, this part of the region holds some very authentic dishes which people do hardly get to taste in the main part of uh, the region and in Shillong. And uh, for the folks tuning in today, you will be in for a treat for some very authentic Jaitia dishes. So Waisa, we will hand over all the time for you to show us uh, what is it that the people of Jaitia love eating. And for those of you watching, well, you're in store for some authentic dishes. Well, this is such a cozy feeling sitting in front of uh, the fireplace, which we generally do not come across in most of uh, the kitchens of uh, people's homes nowadays. So, uh, Waisa, this is uh, a very um, wonderful um, feeling that I'm getting today. And uh, so do tell our audience first, uh, what is it uh, that uh, they are going to be seeing today? Actually, today what I want to show you is the preparation of Tung to. Like we call it Tung to. Yes. I think like yes, for you all so here. The Kasis call it Tung Rumbai. Tung Rumbai, yeah. But uh, out here we call the Tung to is something that um, I think even in uh, most parts of Kasi Hills, people would crave for, yes, uh, for something this, yeah. very authentic because <laughs> we don't uh, have the same way of preparation. Yes, yes, yes. And that is uh, what makes it all the more sumptuous to mm -hmm. eat. So, uh, well, Tung to is what you will be seeing uh, being prepared today. And uh, but uh, before that, uh, I have been told that this is a preparation that takes days. Days, yeah. Yes. It so do tell days, us. Days, yeah. It. Yeah. Um, immediately when we got it from the market, no. Mm -hmm. So the one who sold it is, is already folded in a we call it a slah, no. Okay. Yeah, in a leaf. Mm -hmm. Then slah, yes. And then after that, when uh, immediately when we reach home, what mm -hmm. we do is that we we want to just dry it first. All right. Keep it near the fire only. Okay. We keep it for say three to four hours so mm -hmm. that it get fully dried. Yeah. Then um, when it get dried, then we will uh, take out the leaf and then we will uh, you know place it in this karai. No. Yeah. We call it the karai. Yeah. And then after that, initially what we will do is that we will only pour water. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that will be a very very long process. We'll. That's why we to get the real taste of that. No. Yeah. We 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 cook it in the in the fire here. Yes. And then um, we just boil the boil it boil it for hours and hours. It yeah. took around twenty liters of water. Wow! So that it for how, so that how, yeah. what is the quantity <laughs> of the tung to that you use? Uh, as of now, one and a half kg. Okay. For and one and a half Twenty liters yeah. of water. Twenty liters of water wow. is required. Okay. Yeah. So, like uh, especially now that winter is approaching. We are really enjoying being near this the fire. The no? Yeah, this yes. is the season. Yeah. Almost in every household, you will see that almost yeah. every household is preparing this nowadays. Yeah. Especially when it's getting cold, mm -hmm. so people love that. No. Yeah. So we like, uh, I'll do it in the evening, and then we we'll sit near near the fire and we pour water and we we'll go to bed again in the morning. Okay. Again in the morning, that process continues. Yes. So if I have to if I'm to go for work also I'll just leave it there and then when I came back then again I'll continue with the process okay. no so when everything is when you get that real smell of ting no mm -hmm. when all that bad smell goes away yes, yes. then now it's time for us to be ready with the so when the, preparation the, uh, because this has uh, you know um, <coughs> it, it comes with a certain kind of a smell because mm -hmm. uh, it, it is raw mm -hmm. so when that smell changes into a lovely fragrance yes. you get that aroma yeah. that is when you know that you know now no, it's time, time for to, us to prepare yes all right <laughs> to okay. put all the ingredients yes. no <laughs> and so I think um, this has been here for how long have you been uh, keeping this in the fire? For how uh, many days? For two days now. Okay. <laughs> so it's been two days here. will not continuously, yes, like in yes. the morning when I'm at home and yes. I'm doing all that. No? In so the beginning when gradual, I came back. Yeah. Yeah, it's a gradual, continual process and uh, so the moment it dries up you keep adding water. Yeah, we keep yes? adding water. To wait it off uh, the yes, smell yes, yes. and uh, you know for this to become um, uh, to turn into uh, mm -hmm. edible and edible tung to with uh, its own uh, lovely fragrance mm -hmm. and aroma. And uh, right now we are sitting uh, just uh, by the side of uh, the tung to as it is being uh, boiled. And uh, so um, we would like to know, I have never seen this being prepared your authentic way. Mm -hmm. What are the things that you would be doing? 
after when when all that bad smell has gone, no? Yeah. Then um, side by side we are pre preparing onion. Okay. Then uh, a lot of a lot of this um, chilies, no? Okay. Chilies. So it, so you use so uh, dried chilies, chilies. Yeah, we use dried, dried chilies. chilies. Just cut yes. it in small pieces, okay. right. and then around more than hundred pieces is wow. required. Okay. So the best thing is to cut rather yes. than just grind it. Yeah. No? Yeah. You get the real taste of that. Yes. And then after that, we also use ginger. Mm -hmm. So ginger is also of two types. No mm -hmm. one is that bigger one. Yeah. So this is called um, uh, that small ginger. No. Yes. Then. Uh, then after that, apart from that, we also need this uh, nayong, no? We call okay. it. Yeah. It's black seed, no? Yeah, black seed. That sesame needs to be, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. That yes. needs to be grinded, mm -hmm. and then after that, we um, we have to do the preparation separately. Okay. Then yeah. so that when everything is cooked, then apart from that, pork pork yes. is essential, no? Yeah. We know that. People in Jawai, Jaintia people, Khasi people, yes. and the entire people of Northeast, yes. they always love pork. Yes. Uh, dishes will Without become an incomplete. addition of pork, yeah. it is still incomplete. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So that's yeah. why, you know, yeah. we, uh, this is quite a necessity. Mm -hmm. If you don't keep this, then it will not give you a good taste. I agree. There are yeah. people who don't take pork, but mm -hmm. then they use this uh, dry fish, no? Yes. They use dry fish as well, but I don't yeah. think it will give the. You know, such a um, that delicious. Yeah, it's like two um, left feet yeah. together. But for me, I prefer pork. Yeah, pork you know, is better. Yes. Then after everything is done separately, then we pour the entire ingredients mm -hmm. out here. Then we boil it for sometimes. Mm -hmm. Then the last part will be, we'll just spray from top. No, this mm -hmm. uh, what do you call it? garlic leaves. No, yes. Slamson. Yes. It just just to pour it from top. No, okay. then it becomes a complete dish. Mm -hmm. So we will, uh, without further ado, mm -hmm. um, let's see what is it that you are going to show us now that you've already told us the mm -hmm. various uh, steps mm -hmm. that you will be incorporating and in getting this dish, mm -hmm. dish to its final element. Yes. Well, folks, you've heard how it is being done and uh, you will get to see why Isaka now showing it to us. Yes, thank yeah. you. <laughs> The first thing I'll do is to pour the oil. Okay? All right. Okay. Yes. When the oil is cooked, then first, I'll, the first ingredient will be this grind onion. Okay. So, what are your, um, you know, um, being a homemaker? And uh, you know, so I can see the love that you have in making food. Now mm -hmm. that you have a hearth, a yes. fireplace, <laughs> what other dishes you you know like preparing for your family? Something that uh, is special to your heart? Some uh, of the dishes that you'd like to make? I I prepare almost everything, but mm -hmm. then uh, like something unique is we call it like shiktum, no? Okay. Shiktum we mm -hmm. call like maybe in Khasi you call it um shiktum, no? Shiktum, uh, yes. But that is something which I love to prepare, no? Mm. Apart from that, then fish curry and all. Other uh, these are things that apart from anything, chicken also I prepare, mutton also I prepare. <laughs> Actually, I love cooking, no? <laughs> right from the time when I was small, my mom used to teach me all this, no? Mm. So whenever my mom cooks anything, I always to be after her to see, you know, what is her preparation, how is she preparing, and all that. <laughs> I will keep. The first ingredient will be will be this grind onion. Okay. It's always a beautiful cracking sound you get. Right? So for about uh, you're using about um, four or five onions. Onion. No, more than that. More, more than the that. better. It will okay. not give you the taste, no? Right. If there is very less onion. Yes, yes. More, okay. Around 10 to 15. Okay. That's the garlic? Yeah, this is the okay. garlic. Then we'll add this turmeric. So tell us, uh, I've heard uh, you know, people Talking about uh, the turmeric that yeah. you have here, what is the speciality about it? What what uh, is the difference between what we you have here? Here we get the pure turmeric. No, it's okay. from Lakadong side, mm -hmm. Shangpung and all. Yeah. Most of the time we I used to get from Shangpung. Mm -hmm. Shangpung also they 
it produces very the, 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 good the pure texture, the flavor, yeah. all that it's is quite different. Yeah, it's not adulterated one, no. Okay. Yeah, from there we get pure one. And it's quite strong. Yeah, it's compared quite strong. to what uh, people get in the local markets. Mm. Mm. Leave it for some days. Then now this is called nayong, no? Mm -hmm. That's uh, black sesame seed. Mm. I think uh, most of the cooking involves using this. Yes. This is like the basic ingredient. <laughs> that is for the most of the dishes. The, the unique yes of we the panar people yes. as yes. well, no? So for uh, those who are looking to um, you know, uh, try and uh, copy a, the process of the dish, mm -hmm. so um, we know that uh, onions also have to be used about uh, 8, 10 or 15 yeah. onions for this. Mm -hmm. and Many less uh, onion will not get the Yes. So about 2-3 uh, uh, spoons delicious. of uh, garlic, yeah. right? And uh, what about the spoons, sesame seeds? Yeah, I see that you use quite a lot of that. In the tablespoon, yes. 4 to 5 like that. Mm -hmm. First thing, I'll pour this pork. Okay. This is already cooked one. Right. Make things easier for us to yes. cut, no? So. Yeah. Chilies I've already cooked. In the process of boiling it, no? Yes. I've already so, poured chi um, uh, chilies also. Which means you added just chilies mm. and uh, just water. Too. Just water. Get it cooked and then I'll pour it along mm -hmm. in the main dish. So as we're waiting for that, why don't you also tell us a bit about yourself? What are <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm assistant lecturer. Okay. I'm assistant lecturer. I'm teaching political science. Okay. But cooking is my hobby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love cooking, no? So I've been serving in um, uh, Gorman Girls High Secondary School, Joe okay. now for more than 20 years. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> apart from that, I'm also a member of the Women's Welfare Organization of St. Rajoy. No? I used to serve as chairperson of the women's uh, wing in mm -hmm. our St. Raj. Mm -hmm. I think you know about St. Rajoy. Yes, it yes. is a social cultural yes. organization. Yes. Yeah. So I used to serve there for many years mm -hmm. as chairperson. I've served in different capacities, no, mm -hmm. as secretary of the women's wing, mm -hmm. then as um, vice chairperson. Mm -hmm. Till now, but now though I did not hold any post, but I'm a member of women's. Mm -hmm. I'm still helping them, mm -hmm. my member. Mm -hmm. Any activities, any programs which they are holding, I'm always there to help them. Then, um, apart from that, I'm also a member of Art and Culture, a member of um, uh, School Managing Committee as well. And apart from that, I, I'm also an artist of All India Radio. Oh, <laughs> I used to give speeches, yes. talks, yes. and then um, sing also. Mm -hmm. So 
there are many elements to <laughs> the person who's uh, sitting here today, and uh, it's good to be uh, socially active. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's uh, it's very fulfilling. You get diversion of minds. Yes, no? yes, yes. <laughs> Having a fireplace like this, do you also smoke uh, meat in the fireplace or? Yeah, we used to. Yes. <laughs> we used to do that. Especially nowadays uh, that um, people are after those dry fish, no? Mm -hmm. The karang, no? Karang, yes. So that's, this is the best way yes. to, you know, warm it before having it. Yes. Rather than in the gas stove, no? Oh, this is better. <laughs> That's better anyway, uh -huh. the smokiness, the, yes. the flavour of that smokiness, you will not get it from uh -huh. her. These are all uh, the things that will get you a fast cooking, but the flavour mm -hmm. in terms of cooking, yeah, yeah. cooking in firewood will give you a different taste altogether. There's that nostalgic feeling, no? Yes. The time when we were small Nostalgic, and all. you feel, yeah. you know, there's a certain warmth to yes. the food that you mm -hmm. get. Yeah, especially when we were small, we don't have all this, no? Yes. It's, it's only here <laughs> all the time. And uh, even after cooking rice and all, we, I still remember we used to wipe the, you know, the portion. Not Keep that portion clean, here. maintain it. Yes, we need to wash. And we are busy that's washing like, all oh, this. I think a ritual in yeah. those days. Mm -hmm. Which, uh, you know, um, I think because of uh, the new way of uh, cooking or you know, most of uh, the people want to install uh, a new kitchen set up and all that. So these are fast disappearing. Yes. So it's such a lovely thing when I came and I saw this, <laughs> it is uh, something very endearing. Okay, now that this uh, ingredients, everything has been done only in one place, no? Yes. Now I'm going to pour. Okay. Yeah, to get the, the dish, the real dish of, <laughs> the taste of Tintor. The real taste of Tintor. Yes, the yes. real taste of Tintor. Okay. Eagerly waiting for this. <laughs> I am. <laughs> so that nothing is wasted, no? Yes, it is. <laughs> And with that, you leave it uh, in the fire for a while and it's... For a while only. Just okay. for a while only. Now I'll add salt to taste. After I've poured everything, then I'll see, no? If it doesn't look, if the colour is still very light, mm -hmm. then I might pour again some small quantity of this okay. black seeds, no? Nayong. Nayong. Then this is also a must. This is ginger. Yes. Without that, uh, yeah. Tungtok will never taste, or yes. sorry, Tungtok will never taste as Tungtok, right? Yes. We need that. In the uh, the the khasi is called it in makhir. Mm -hmm. So do you call, call it the same? intro? It's intro. Mm. Okay. It's a small ginger. Mm -hmm. It's intro. The bigger one is known as in Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And it's very costly these days. Oh, the prices. So high nowadays. We still mm. cannot do without them in our dishes. Yes. <laughs> that is good for health also. Yes. Not yes. to forget, this is not it's not that 
it is only uh, something which we want to keep to be a part of our you know dinner on the table mm -hmm. this is also good for health this tuto is also very good for health like the turmeric mm, that is very they have rich in protein yes. this is very rich in protein mm -hmm. and we we are also advised that uh, for those especially women no after what to say after operation undergoing any operation whose operation is good to have them to <laughs> oh, really yes okay that's one i was advised no oh. i've been undergoing treatment yes. for many times yes so that's one advice which i used to get oh that's a first <laughs> i've never heard it's good so for the final touch okay to make it more classical i'll just add this garlic leaves yeah. on top of this Leave it for a while. Mm -hmm. Then the stem toy is ready. <laughs> I've uh, been given the plate, yeah. <laughs> and I'm already holding on to the plate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me see how it tastes. Okay. I'm sure. Uh, three, eh, I'm sure. I think. Ja Well, yes. I have been looking forward, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's been days of uh, preparing yes, yes. tungto. Well, I will finally get to taste it from you now. Spoon to spoon. Of. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good. Tungto. Well, uh, so this is tungto on the plate, and uh, all the elements that have been added have brought together this very wonderful dish, which uh, has been um, uh, a dish carrying on from generations to generations, yes, yes. and. Uh, it will never lose its uh, authenticity and uh, as you can see right now there's nothing on the plate except for the rice and the tungto because that is for a reason that i don't want the taste of the tungto to be eroded with other elements so i have been sitting here and my mouth has been watering I could go on. <laughs> this is absolutely gobsmacking delicious. And um, I can only imagine after days of preparing yes. and um, all local ingredients except the way of uh, preparing this, mm -hmm. which has taken a tremendous amount of time. Yes. But added to it, it's also because it's being prepared here. That adds that smokiness to uh, the taste and the texture of the tungto which we don't generally get a lot nowadays with everything being prepared on the gas and all that. So um, this is absolutely brilliant and um, I've only had Tonobai and Tonobai from Dauki and um, we've had this in shops. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's just like a oh, second-hand made uh, stuff mm -hmm. because it's not as authentic and original as something made with the love uh, coming out from the fireplace of your house. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I don't really want to take too much time now because I have this waiting on my plate. I'm going to enjoy this a lot more. So, uh, Waisa, yes. we have had a wonderful time. It's been really, really, um, I would say informative at the same time because we've had the privilege of seeing how your traditional tumpa is being prepared. For all of you who have been with us, I think um, you've also had this wonderful time in seeing Tungto, which is something very famous of uh, the Panars and uh, it has been uh, lovely to be here in your house. Thank you. We are looking forward to a few more dishes from you out of your wonderful hands. So from us here at Food Diaries, till we meet again, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.